Hello, my lovelies. I hope you're all well. We're back with some of Poor Man's Podcast Reacts videos. Today is Delusional Woke People Getting Owned number one. Let's have a look, shall we? Just curious, like... Yes, tell me... Is this, like some organization or something, or are you just doing this for attention? Yes, we're with the, uh, the President of the United States. Joe Biden hired me himself. I don't believe you. He put me up to it. If you want, just send him a letter, get a petition signed, tell me to stop. Feminists are smelly. Alright, I mean... I got some... Pretty sure everyone's a little smelly, dude. Yeah. Pretty sure you smell a little too. Yeah, but they're a little over the top, wouldn't you say? How old are you? I'm just curious. Uh, does it matter? Yeah, it kind of does. Why? I'm just curious. Are How you, do you think I am? Are you a minor? You guys are scaring me. Good. I'm sorry. But I do have some deodorant. This is intimidating. If y'all need some deodorant, I got you. Oh. Where is it? Yeah, I'd My like bag. to see it. Yeah, get, get it. it. Do you actually want some? Yeah, yeah. get it. So you're saying I'll this message is right correct? You're saying this message is true? Correct, We're not saying it's accurate because everyone's smelly if you're putting it that way. I asked him to show us the deodorant. I would love to apply some. So your situation is a high conflict personality? How much were you neglecting? Are you Jordan Peterson? Do you know what a high conflict personality is? Are you a psychologist? I'm educated. I'm educated. What school did you go to? It doesn't matter so what school you went problem, to. You First of all, you got so dry spit on the side of your mouth, so you need to go ahead and clean that right now. Do I? Yeah, you look I like, don't know how to clean it. Can you, you clean it for me? Like, I don't doubt. Oh, so that's what you do. Never mind. That's your, that's your stick. Wait, can you clean it for me or no? Oh, can you clean it for me? Wait, miss, you'll like the other, you'll like the flip side. And you know that's like an ignorant way to stand, right? Like. Why? You're over here. I tell you. I'm actually half fast. handicapped, so that's very offensive that you said that. Yeah, no. Yeah. I can probably tell I'm that super offended, offensive. actually. Yeah. Yeah. So lying and being a high conflict is part of your personality <laughs> disorder. Why are you looking at women with your fucking eyes? Are you a woman? <laughs> oh my god. So you. Oh, I couldn't. I didn't even know. I'm, I'm sorry. Binary, so oh my god. Like, that's why of I asked. She is. I was trying to be polite. Of course she is. That's what you should do, right? I'm drinking milk. I love breast milk. It's very nutritious. <laughs> breast milk for life. Your hair's not even purple, it's green. Yeah. Are you colorblind? Yeah, maybe I am. Are you gonna make fun of me now? Yeah, I will. Yeah, you already made fun of me for being handicapped. I did not. Yeah, yeah. No, I didn't. Why don't you just assume my gender? It's crazy because you can have a whole lineup and just by looking at people, you can tell if they're feminine. Yeah. Purple hair, a whole bunch of makeup, and a bunch of tattoos. The only thing they missing is the red nose. I'm a feminist. And I don't okay, hate so men. Okay, so you are a self-described feminist. What is a woman? Why do you want to know? I'm infinitely what, wait, curious. What's a man? You're looking at one. <laughs> Why do you think that that's important to you, what a man and a woman is? So do you, you treat men and women differently? Well, it depends in what context, though. Politically, no. Under the law, no. Should mm -hmm. they treat it differently in a societal customs and norms? Yes. Why? Like, we should open doors for women. We, we should honor and protect women. And... I want to honor and protect you, man. Uh, okay, Aww. great. Do Thank you. you. Women protected? are worthy of protection. Can you tell me what a woman is since you're a feminist? You're saying these things because you're trying to get a gotcha. You're okay, a feminist. So you... Shouldn't you be able to tell me what a woman is? I'm a feminist. Isn't that probably because... important to feminism? <laughs> what is the woman that you're yeah, trying to advance? Oh, my Lord. It's, um, it's become a very hot topic question, hasn't it? What is a woman? A woman is an adult human female there we go i just answered for her protect <laughs> isn't that is integral so to is that the whole feminist project the Asking war against what a woman is is the, is the only way that you can well, get a gotcha over everybody I, I, else I, I, why is it so important to you to define things in certain categories why does how does that help your day-to-day -day life like what, what other categories in the human species are there besides male and female? Well, I just think that categorization is usually unhelpful when we're trying to improve society, right? I have XY chromosomes. Okay. Can I give birth? Um, no, you can't. Bingo. That's why categorization matters. This is the de-evolution of human beings. You know it's a pointless movement when the people in the movement can't even describe the thing that they're supposedly yeah. fighting for. What is a woman? What is a, that's a stupid ass question, dude. That's a dumb ass question. They can't answer what a woman is. It's not a trick question. What is a woman? What is that thing? You can't answer the question with the question. Define woman without saying woman. It's a social Does it <laughs> what is a woman? This is not a trick question, everybody. You're in college paying for an education. What is a woman? How about you talk to 
Is it with media training? You don't need media training. It's not a trick. What is a woman? You can't answer the question with the. It's like it's a woman. What is a man? The college kids of America going hundreds of thousands of dollars into debt who think it's a trick question when you ask them what a woman is. Unbelievable. You know, looking at these clips, you realize you can't have a rational argument with somebody that's not rational. Almost none of the social justice movements have any rational arguments. They're all arguments backed by emotion. Yeah. And they use shame, guilt, and empathy to try to get power. The only thing we need to do to stop this mind cancer is have a bunch of strong men say, We don't care. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you <laughs> we don't care. Page 127. Mike swear so, it is a really sad state of affairs when people don't want to answer the question what is a woman and they say that woman is a social construct like where are they getting this it's actually unbelievable we could be so much more advanced as a species. But it's like the fall of Rome, right? You get too big for your boots. And then you start like imploding almost. The society starts imploding. And I really think that's what's happening in the West. I, <clears throat> I will say that I think the majority of us are still fairly normal, right? The majority of us know what a woman and a man is, right? But especially with these younger generations, it's like eaten away at the, the critical thinking and the common sense. It's like they've got no street smarts or, or common sense anymore. It's very, very odd, but let's continue. Well, up, thanks, daddy. Daddy sick me, disgust me. I nauseous in my stomach. But not, but hot tight in my tw Ambition to have some words for you. Is this book that you're referencing in one of our libraries? It is. It's in Legacy High School. Thank you. You may continue. Call me names, pump. In, out, in, out. Oh, I came. He bite me hard. A hump, a hump. He's slamming me again. His off. He starts sucking my This needs to be removed tonight. We have six men on this board. If you don't remove this book, you're either a punk or a pervert. Pick, choose your medicine. No, you got your, I got a gavel too. Here is the gavel. That's my gavel. The gavel is the truth. You guys are walking Speak, me out man. because I spoke the truth. I'm no pervert. Huh? So are you going to rule with the book? I, I will get that book out, but I'm letting you know right now. Thank you. I'm no punk and I'm no pervert. If the book stays. No you're I'm either no a punk or a pervert. I'm no punk and I'm no pervert. And so you're going to get it out, right? Get the book out, Thank you. No give this man a hand. Give this man a hand. That's what we need. There's a law wow. in New York that says if somebody's living in a random house without permission for over 30 days, they get tenant rights. No. So a woman went to go <clears throat> kick somebody out of a house she owned who was living there without her permission, and she got arrested. You shouldn't be trying to steal my house. Yes, you are. This morning, a squatter standoff <sighs> caught on camera by our station WABC. There's a man sleeping right there. Get out of my house. Adele Andaloro says she inherited this New York City house, but a group of people moved in and changed the locks. Wow. That's insane. The NYPD called in arresting one man. Why is it that I have to leave and he doesn't have to leave? Because Facts. technically he can't be kicked out. He needs to go to court. But this man, forcing his way back inside, was allowed to stay. He told investigative reporter Dan Krauth he signed a lease in October, though he showed no proof. So no how proof. does this all end then? When do you leave? The way it ends is, is either she pays me my money that I put into the house, pay me the money, and I'll leave, or send me to court, and we deal with the judge in court. In New York City, squatters have tenants' rights after 30 days, making this a landlord-tenant dispute. So when Adele had the locks changed again... You're getting arrested right now? I'm being arrested. For what? For being, in for, being in my, for being in my own home. Recently, there was a woman that was murdered in a home that she owned by two squatters. And this is the reason why people are leaving New York. I don't know what's going on with California and New York, but this is why people are moving to Florida. This is how states like Florida and Texas handle these situations. <laughs> move 
moved into their basement. That's unbelievable. And now the only way is out the, the basement door, like the external basement door, I'm guessing. And then as soon as they go, bam, locks are changed. <laughs> uh, as to the person, we don't know what homeowner, which homeowner shot at him. Um, I guess they think that they did something wrong, which they did not. If somebody's breaking in your house, you're more than welcome to shoot them in Santa Rosa County. We prefer that you do, actually. Um, so whoever that was, you're not in trouble. Come see us. We have a gun safety class we put on every other Saturday. And if you take that, you'll shoot a lot better, and hopefully you'll save the taxpayers money. And this is why I love Texas, because if I live in New York and I don't pay my property taxes, then the government can come steal my house. And if I do pay my property taxes, some random homeless person can come steal my house. Mm -hmm. We thought it was bad enough that they was allowing people to loot JCPenney. Now people can loot houses. People with purple hair, homelessness, <laughs> crime on the rise, and paying $2,500 for a closet. I don't even know why people are in New York anymore. Nice. Let me know in the comments below mm -hmm. if this video was a W or L and give me the HBO special. As a help brother, I'll special hit the like and the subscribe button for more content till next time awesome show some love to um poor man podcast reacts he does some excellent videos for us all to watch and uh yeah interesting times we are living in aren't they <sighs> honestly squatters shouldn't have any rights they are squatters they are not tenants. It doesn't matter that they broke into the house and have stayed there for 30 days. That does not make them tenants. Tenants have an agreement in place with the landlord. That lady was not a landlord. She just owned the house. She wasn't renting it out to them. He could show no proof. He had no contract in place. He is not a tenant. And yeah, like you said, that lady got killed by squatters when she tried to get them out of her house. Like, the world has gone mad. The world has gone insane. <laughs> but anyway, oh, thank you for joining me for today. And I will see you very soon.